Hello guys, this is uh, Review88 here. Today we're going to do a special review. Since I got all three of these albums here, I decided to do a special review. Um, today we have the Green Day Trilogy. And originally I did a review on the first one, but I haven't done the review on the second one. And I just got the third one today, so um, I got the second one on my birthday. But I was kind of busy, so I didn't really do any reviews then, and I couldn't seem to find the insert, so I couldn't do it today. I couldn't do it until tonight because I just found the insert. So yeah, so um, we'll start off with the first one, and then we'll go through. Okay, so the first one is called uh, Uno. As you can see here, it's got a picture of Billy Joe Armstrong, the lead singer and guitar player for Green Day. And it's got a green background. So yeah, it's a pretty cool CD and this is what the back looks like. Track listing. So yeah, you open it up and we have an insert. Sorry the insert's a little, a little messier because of, um, I've had this CD for a while now, so, came out September 25th, I got it, like, November 1st, or something like that, so, yeah, this is the whole picture thing, you open it up, and then you got the lyrics of all 12 songs off this album, and then you have the, should I say, the, um, Members, Billy John Armstrong, vocals and guitar, lead vocals and guitar. Then Mike Durnt, he's uh, backing vocals and bass. And then Trey Cool, he's drums, and sometimes he does vocals. And then Jason White is guitar. So, yeah. The singles off this album are Oh Love, Kill the DJ, and Let Yourself Go. Let yourself go, let yourself go. And then this is the back of every little insert. It just has the pictures of the three albums. And then plus Quattro, which is a DVD that sh Todd, that shows the making of these of this trilogy. Plus, I think there's some live stuff, too. Yeah, there's some live footage as well that kind of includes the, like the songs off the trilogy. So, yeah, this is what the CD looks like. We'll actually play... Um, let yourself go. Since actually, yeah, we'll play. Let yourself go. Yeah, let yourself go. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's Billy Joe's voice, what he sounds like today, nowadays, studio-wise. So that's Uno. You move on to Dose, which is the second album of the trilogy. You got Mike on the cover. Um, they're all, all three of them are power pop albums, but they said the first one sounds a little bit more like Dookie. The second one sounds more like Foxboro Hot Tubs. And the third one is kind of like, in a way, kind of a combination of both, but more in a different sound, really. Um, so yeah, this is what Dose looks like. The back, I I don't know, is that is that Mike? Because I know the back of Uno and Trey have Billy Joe on the back of Uno and then Trey on the back of Trey. So I'm wondering if this is Mike. But yeah, so here's the track listing for that. You open it up, looks like this. This is a little bit less wrecked because it's newer. You open it up like this, and you have that. Pictures. And then you open it up. It's more the lyrics. For these songs. There's 13 songs off this one. Tomorrow I'm going to be listening to all three together. I listened to Trey today as like an outro for the CDs I listened to. But I'll listen to uh, Uno, Dos, and Trey in order. 
We'll play uh, the only single off this album is called Stray Heart. So we'll play that. We'll kind of show you a little bit how it sounds a little bit more like Foxborough Hot Tubs. -y. The weirdest thing is I thought there was going to be another single like Stop When the Red Lights Flash. That I thought that was going to be a single. So yeah, that's, there are guitar parts, it's just that the beginning is like bassy. So that's Dose. Um, this is, this seems to be a lot of people's least favorite, but I still like Dose. But yeah, a lot of people's favorite is either Uno or Trey. Mine's actually Trey, and then Uno, and then Dose. But I like all of them, I guess. And then finally we got Trey, the newest one in the trilogy and the last one, and pretty much the newest one I just got, because uh, I went to Barnes & Noble with a 30%, $30 iTunes, not iTunes, sorry, uh, Barnes & Noble card, and I got two CDs. I got this one, and then I got a Papa Roach Greatest Hits one. So I might review Papa Roach one later on. This is just the Uno, Dose, and Trey thing. So you got the back here. You got the track list for that. The singles are The Forgotten. I think Brutal Love was considered single. And then X Kid was the last one. I know X Kid and The Forgotten were actually real singles. I don't know about Brutal Love. They gave a music video for Brutal Love. That's why I kind of say it's a single. But yeah. You open it up, and this is what it looks like. Uh, tray. for that song. There's 12 songs off this album. Dose has 13, Uno has 12. So it goes like 12, 13, 12. And I think they had about a bunch of songs that they wrote for this album, but they only used like 30 or so. Um, so yeah. This is what the CD looks like, the back. It's pretty cool. We'll play uh, X Kid. Kind of show you. Come on. I hate how long it takes to load these CDs up. Hey, little kid, did you wake up late one day? So, yeah. That's, um, X Kid. If you want to look at the backs, these are the backs of the three. What they look like. All three of them together. It's the backs. Oh, I got a good idea. All three inserts together. This is just to kind of let you guys see what they all look like. All three of them look like together. Uh, so, let me put them together for a second. So, that's Uno. Sorry, I have to put it down like that. It's easier for me to kind of put them like that. You can see that. I don't think you can. This ball is in the way. There's that. That's what it looks like. And then the lyrics you probably already know. Um, but yeah, let me put the inserts back in. I like keeping the inserts out, but usually when there's a new album, I usually like keeping it in like for one day, at least. And since this is a trilogy, I'll probably keep them in like this. But yeah, uh, so that's Uno, Dos, and Trey, um, the trilogy, and these are the actual, like, the regular CDs. There was actually a package that you could order, like, pre-order it, and then it would come in this, like, cool thing, and instead of, like, CDs looking like that, they would look like books, and then the inserts would be the pages in the books, you know, 
And then at the end, you would have the CD in the back cover of the book. It was pretty cool. But yeah, um, they're mostly the same pictures. If I got the book version, it would have been cool. But I like the CD version as well. And yeah. Um, just comment on the ba bottom what your favorite uh, song is from all three albums. And then what your favorite song of all like of all like your favorite green day song is and then what your favorite song of all three of these are like what i mean is by what is your like most favorite song from the trilogy i'll tell you both all three answers to all those three questions all the answers to those questions okay so my favorite song of each Uno would be pretty much all the songs. I can't really decide, although I don't really like all Oh Love that much. I used to, but I don't know. I got kind of started not liking it as much and not listening to it that much. Dose, um, I don't want to say the actual word, but F Time, Stop When the Red Lights Flash, Lazy Bones, Wild One was okay, uh, Make Out Party, those tracks, oh, Stray Heart, Ashley is probably my favorite one, um, Baby Eyes, Lady Cobra, Nightlife, Wow That's Loud is okay, and Amy is okay, but yeah, Trey, pretty much all of them. My favorite Green Day song is actually called Armitage Shanks, it's off their fourth studio album called Insomniac, released back in 1995. It's a punk rock album, so it's a little bit different than these, and they're a little bit younger back then. They were younger back then, so his voice is a little bit deeper. And my favorite song of all from this is probably 99 Revolutions. So yeah, uh, just comment on the bottom for those questions, and tell me if you like those songs that I suggested, or anything like that, and um, I'll get you a review for the next the Papa Roach greatest hits, but right now I have to go to dinner soon, so I'll bring these upstairs, and yeah, okay, good night guys, and hopefully you like these albums, alright, bye.